All right, man, peace. You know, brothers, I stated a while ago, probably just prior to LeBron James officially signing with the Lakers in a four-year deal, that he was going to have at least one season, but probably just one season, where everything was going to fall into line for him to win a championship, and either he was going to get it done or he wasn't. That's how the NBA works. It is an entertainment league. They want to create narratives for their most prominent stars, especially prominent stars on the level of LeBron James who can be polarizing and therefore attract the most attention. They are going to put him in the position to be able to win a championship. And that is what he will be experiencing this upcoming season. Everything has fallen into place for him. All of his top rivals have either fallen by the wayside or are confused or seemingly confused as to what they want to do. James Harden and CP3 are at one another's throats. Uh, Kevin Durant is down. Steph Curry has played five straight years going to the NBA Finals, and he's without his partner in the backcourt, Klay Thompson. So everything has fallen into place for Mr. LeBron James. The only real domino left is the most prominent domino, that being Mr. Kawhi Leonard. Can LeBron James bring him into the fold, or will he go back to Toronto and most likely meet the Lakers in the Finals at the end of this season? According to Mr. Ryan Hollins, LeBron James has a one-year window to win a championship, and I'm prone to agree with him because we have to understand, once these top-level athletes get past the age of 33, 34, each year is like five to six years of aging on their bodies. Athletes age at a different level than regular people, obviously. We age year by year. Athletes after the age of 33, 34, they're aging at about a five- or six-year clip per year because of the mileage on their bodies, especially championship-level athletes. So, of course, you're going to talk about it, and I want to chime in. When Anthony Davis declined his $4 million signing bonus after signing with the Lakers, he sent the message that a championship ring is more important to him than the money. And, of course, they are making a push to sign the big free agent prize of Kawhi Leonard. So, Ryan, without Kawhi Leonard, how long is LeBron's championship window? He got one year, D. Jones. I agree. If LeBron James does not win the championship this season, you have Kevin Durant coming back the year after this. You have Kawhi Leonard, who will presumably be even better after this season. Remember, he just turned 28. Most of these top players enter their prime at around this time, 27, 28, 29 years old. LeBron is not getting any younger. It would not shock me, to be quite frank with you, if the Lakers were to get knocked out of the playoffs this year. Of course, I'm going to pick them to probably get to the finals, at least as of right now. I'll make my official picks somewhere along in the preseason this upcoming NBA year. But as of right now, I would say that the Lakers will probably make the playoffs. But would it shock me if they got knocked out in the second round by the Denver Nuggets or the Houston Rockets or the Utah Jazz? No, it would not. Because LeBron is going to be 35 years old. He still does not want to post up. He loves to face up. He likes to act as if he can keep up with all the young guys and then he gets worn down. That's why he does not play defense in the regular season and intends to trickle over into the playoffs. I'm not quite sure how much defensive help they're going to have on that Lakers squad this year. I'm guessing that LeBron James is going to assume that Anthony Davis is going to play all the defense. That's probably why they're so desperate to see if they can get Kawhi. We had the memes and I thought it might be too. He's got one years. In the one years? What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is one years? Is that singular or plural? I say it because the key word was what? A LeBron James, LeBron James championship. Not an Anthony Davis, not a Kawhi Leonard, not somebody else's. LeBron James is 34 years old. This is why I'm confused as to why Kawhi Leonard would even consider going to the Lakers. I'm sure that they're promising him the keys to the franchise, which is what LeBron loves to do with many of his uh, secondary stars on the squad. Even though at this point in their respective careers, Kawhi Leonard is most likely a better player than LeBron. He certainly is a better player than LeBron when it comes to offense and defense. But still, in all, LeBron believes that he is the best player in the league, and reasonably he should. He's going to look at anybody who plays with him as a secondary star. And right now, Kawhi has been the best player on two different championship teams. Why would he want to go to the Lakers and play with LeBron for three, at least three years? and have to deal with that nonsense and also have to endure not getting the credit that he deserves for being a great player. I guarantee you that if Kawhi signs with the Lakers and they go to the finals, LeBron is not going to be a Steph Curry type with Kevin Durant. He's not going to take the background. He's going to go for that finals MVP and he's not going to give a damn who doesn't like that. I just think that everything is perfect right now for Kawhi in Toronto. He has a great complimentary roster. Pascal Siakam to me 
has the potential to be a modern day Scottie Pippen. You have Kyle Lowry, who's a scrappy guard who's made multiple All Star teams. You have Marc Gasol, who's still at this point in his career an All League defender. You have Serge Ibaka, who's a great supplementary defender. You have Fred Van Fleet, who's great off the bench. You have the chance to run it back. And on top of that, you can really put your feet in the ground and leave your imprint by defeating LeBron in the finals potentially. Why would you go to the Lakers and join up with LeBron? I promise you, that's going to run contrary to the energy that Kawhi Leonard seems to exude. He just missed the most games he's ever missed in his career. And we play, well, they play in the day and age that is not the Michael Jordan, is not the Kobe era. The pace that the NBA's played at is in the 120s. Now take a second. Look across the league. KD is down over in Brooklyn. The Splash Brothers, one of the Splash Brothers is injured. Giannis is still young. Ben Simmons ain't got no jump shot. There is no greater window or time than for LeBron James to get a championship. I agree. And keep in mind, I'm not talking about a Kawhi. I'm not talking about somebody else dragging him to one. Wow. A championship in wow. what you say is LeBron James. Dragging him to a championship? He 34, <laughs> dog. He ain't getting no younger. He ain't getting no younger than Jones. About. He's 34 and he has the mileage of someone who's 40 years old. I don't give a damn how good his biochemist is, how many syringes he has in his locker, how many weights he lifts. He is going to age. And eventually, you're going to see that decline. I, I think that we saw a bit of it last season. LeBron right now can't guard anybody. He's a bit too muscle-bound. Dragging him to a championship? It, what, does he not get older? Is he not going to age? I'm going to tell you this. Talk to you. LeBron James' window for winning championships is till he retires. Oh. There goes that toxic LeBron entity. <laughs> and the reason why is he puts so much emphasis on his training mm -hmm. in the summers during the season it's not just you know i'm gonna work out lift all these weights in the summertime and then when the season comes and we got uh, uh three games and five nights or uh four games and six nights or whatever i'm not gonna do anything he's always has maintenance mike mancia his trainer has been with him since day one okay lebron puts so much emphasis on training eating right being prepared every single year to win championships. That's his only... Once again, this dude Damon Jones talks about LeBron James like he's 6-3 and three in the finals or 7-2 and two in the finals. It's very obvious that whatever LeBron James is doing is not truly working when it comes to the championship level because he's only 3-6 and six, and two of, those, two of those three championships he really should not have even won. Like, I don't think people understand that. Like, it's not even uh, an attack on LeBron's legacy it's just fact it literally took two miracles for him to win a couple of those championships going into this year oh we gotta win it's about winning it all it's not just showing up and now we got AD we're gonna get to the playoffs and now we break the streak of uh, the Lakers not being in the playoffs uh, six years in a row I'm not here for that I'm here to win it all and win it at the highest level so Every year he steps out there, that's he has the a question, window. Jones. He that's has not the question, window to... Yeah, that's not the question. But Damon Jones, once again, because he's a fanboy, he has to answer like a fanboy. See, whenever you're a fanboy, your rationale is clouded. That's if you even have the ability to speak according to rationale, to have a, a logical mind and make real points based on empirical data and substance as opposed to your feelings. You're telling me that the mind and body aren't, aren't two different things? That's, that no one's no. saying that his mindset is not to win. His body is only going to be able to take so much pounding at the NBA let, pace. Let me ask you this question. Okay, last year, he got hurt. He missed 18 games. Mm -hmm. He only played 55 games. What did he average? What was the record of his team, dude? See, this, this is why people can't take LeBron James fanboys, especially on television. Because they always say the same shit. What did he average? And LeBron understands that. That's why he goes into self-protection mode at, at certain points in the regular season or the postseason. Where he wants to make sure that he gets his numbers so that people cannot blame him. LeBron knows that 30 years from now, if this society is still around in 30 years, people are going to look back into the record books and they're going to say, Yeah, well, LeBron got swept, but he averaged 33, 10, and 9. LeBron understands that. And so do his fanboys. 
He ate eight and eight. Okay. In his sixteenth season. Okay. So don't give me all that barring barring injury. Every year that he steps out there and puts a uniform on, him and his team has a chance to win a championship. You'll notice that LeBron James's fans said the same thing as Russell Westbrook's fans. They always go to the stats. Not understanding that those players are supposed to put up those stats because the offensive system that they run totally caters to what they do. The offensive schematics of their team has the basketball in their hands at all times. So if you have enough experience on the basketball floor, especially on the offensive side, you know how to get your numbers. So the window is open until he retires. Hold on, you, know, you even thought that last year, before he was injured, you thought that he had the chance to win a championship with the team he had last season. Yeah, because listen, I played with him, coached him. Mm -hmm. Loved him. And we were in a lot of situations where we didn't have the best team, but once we got to that playoffs, Oh my God, the light turns on and... The light turns on and LeBron put up numbers and we lose in the finals. This happened two years ago, his last year in Cleveland. We probably should have lost to the Indiana Pacers in the... I agree with you. But once again, Damon Jones, that was in the first round of the playoffs. Okay, dude? We're talking about championships. He does not seem to understand the question. Nothing against Damon Jones. But the brother does not seem to be the sharpest knife in the draw. The question is, how long is LeBron's championship window? And he's talking about the numbers that LeBron puts up in the first, second, and third round of the playoffs. That's not what the question is pertaining to. But he put on a masterful performance in Game 7. Got us through that series. We end up sweeping uh, your Toronto Raptors. Uh, I didn't my Raptors. <laughs> the, the what did we go my Raptors? And then, and, then, and then, listen to this. We get into the conference finals against the Boston Celtics. Young team. No Kyrie, no no Gordon Hayward. What? No chance because they had no offense. No Kyrie, no Gordon Hayward, no chance, no offense. And that series still won seven games. What does that have to do in two years from now? What you mean? What does that have to do in two years from now? Nothing. But don't let facts get in the way of his bullshit story. LeBron James, this year, the year before, before that, Two years from now, that window's gonna be closed. Because he's still at that same level. You not hear what Big Perk just said? KD not gonna be back? Clay Thompson not gonna be back? I don't care if Giannis, I, I, yo, Giannis I, might have listen, a jump shot by then, listen, big dog. I don't care if Giannis <laughs> is shooting threes. I don't care if KD comes back and Kyrie together. It doesn't matter to me. You have two of the top five players in the league and Anthony Davis so and you're LeBron, telling me LeBron James. So that's good. That means that you expect LeBron James to win the championship. So that also means that if they don't win the championship, that his season was a failure. This is going to be leading a championship and not just one of the pieces. Because there's different. On, this man. is not the same. He's not going to be the same guy, dog. The, the father time. You know what father time is, D. Jones? You know how the knees of yours feel right let, now? Let, 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 me, let, let, let me read these numbers to you before we get off this subject. In his 13th season, he had his 25-7-7 in the regular season. Why are you reading stats from three years ago when we're talking about what his championship window is for the future, Damon Jones? Playoffs, 26, 8, and 10. He played 97 games. 14th season, 26, 9, and 9 in the regular season. Uh, 33, 8, and 9 Damon in Jones. the playoffs. 92 games. Listen to what I'm saying. Let me finish. Year 15, 28, 9, and 9 in the regular season. 34, 9, and 9 in the playoffs. He played 104 games. LeBron James himself has been telling people, I can't move the same. I don't feel the same. He's trying to trick you. <laughs> More toxic LeBron energy. LeBron could do no wrong. If Ryan Holland said, look, LeBron James said he's going to retire. Damon Jones, he's trying to trick you. He's going to play until the end of time. The year after, until he, until he says, hey, I'm done, and I'm ushering in Lil Bronny, he get his window so to you win the he's going to be playing the same minutes? He's going to have the exact same load? Because I'm not saying he yeah. may not get another championship. Yeah. Let me say this. LeBron James is going to need a lot of help at this point in his career. He can't do everything anymore like he could back in 2012 with the Miami Heat. He just can't. Physically, his body is starting to deteriorate. He's able to hide it because of his experience. And he knows that the main metric through which he's going to be evaluated are his offensive numbers. So he knows that as long as he concentrates on the offensive end, 
gets his 27, 8, and 8, the deterioration that is very obvious to those of us who know what we're looking at is going to be very difficult to quantify because of his numbers. His supporters will always use his numbers to back up the, the notion or the sentiment that he's still the same guy. I thought one of the more relevant metrics on LeBron James was was utilized a couple of years ago in the playoffs, the 2018 playoffs, when it was stated that, according to the official trackers, LeBron James was the slowest player in the NBA playoffs, meaning he moved the least. And of course, people said it was because he had to reserve his energy for the offensive side, and that's understandable. But still, for him to have moved the least, that means that he's putting up no effort on the defensive end. Put pieces around and even on offense, if he does not have the basketball, he does not move without the ball. But I'm talking about the LeBron low we're talking about. It's not going to be the same, brother. I'm telling you, the next couple championships he win, because he's going to win more. Ain't nobody going to drag him to the championship now. He's going to be at the they top might of the mountain. One he's going to be at the top of the mountain. I think you're going to have to agree to disagree on that one. That's my case man. He's crazy, man. How long he going to run? Hey, 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 bro, hit me up. Hey, this man going crazy on national TV, man. I don't know what's wrong with him. Hit me up. I need $5. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how things go for Mr. LeBron James. I do agree with Ryan Hollins here. It's very unfortunate that I have to state that, that I agree with this clown. But yes, I do believe that LeBron's window is most likely going to be next season. He is going to have to win the chip next season because after that, I think that the league is growing to such a degree. All those young boys are starting to mature. And watch out for New Orleans, man. I think New Orleans, they're going to, I mean, they're going to be an issue. Of course, they're not going to win a championship or anything like that, but they're going to be a very fun team to watch, and they're going to take some wins away from good teams. So, peace.